Well, for the Army men's hockey team, the fall semester ends on a quiet note as they fall 2-0 to nothing to Holy Cross to split the weekend series here at home at the Army Island Sports Center going into a 21-day holiday break. I'm Matt Geica. This is your RMU Rink Report. The Colonials did everything but score on this Saturday afternoon. And falling behind in the second period just made them more determined to come out there in the third and rally back and at least salvage a point from this second game of this Atlantic Hockey Rivalry Series. And as sophomore defender Nick Jenny said, he felt like, besides putting a puck in the net, it was mission accomplished in the third. Yeah, I mean, that third period, we definitely, I thought uh, we took a step forward as a team. And I mean, we came together in the locker room and said, we're going we're gonna to come back and try to win this one. And we threw everything we had at them. And, just couldn't find one in the back of the net. Even though RMU dropped its second game in its past four, still a positive going into the winter break is defense. RMU has allowed two goals or fewer in six consecutive games. Yes, a lot of that is on junior goaltender Francis Murat. Didn't get the shutout tonight, but arguably played just as well in this rematch as he did on Friday night when he blanked the Holy Cross Crusaders. Here's Jenny again discussing why he thinks things have turned around on the de defensive side of the puck. Uh, I think uh, Frank's also finding his groove. He's being the goalie that we always know he can be or knew he can be. So, uh, I mean, as long as he's back there for us, uh, we're, we're pretty positive with him in that. So besides that, just staying with our guys, don't get lost in the D zone. And it's been working for us. And we, now we just got to capitalize on our, our offense and try to get more goals. One theme through the first half is that this might be a different type of Colonials hockey team compared to the units we've seen in the recent past. Head coach Derek Schooley once again touched on that point before adjourning for the winter break, saying that this might be more of a, of a grinding type of a Colonials team, one that might not necessarily score four or five goals game in and game out, but one that can still be successful through a different kind of strength. We played hard. We played with energy. We played with a lot of passion. Uh, I thought we played well. The only thing we didn't do is we didn't score any goals. The last four games, we've given up five goals and went two and two. So we've got to start generating some more goals. Every team's different, and we're used to being a high-flying, wide-open goal-scoring team, but we've found that we're uh, tight-checking, low-scoring, giving up a few, very few goals, and that's hockey. Every team's different, and we've got to find a way to produce a little bit more offense. Okay, so RMU misses out on a chance to move into a second place tie in the Atlantic Hockey standings going into the winter break. But still, you look at the results so far through 16 games, and it's pretty much right down the middle. Overall, RMU at 7, 8, and 1, 6, 5, and 1 in Atlantic Hockey. I mentioned 21 days off before they take to the ice again after the Christmas holiday, but before the Three Rivers Classic, RMU will play two up at Upstart American International. That'll be in the state of Massachusetts on December 29th and 30th. We'll have the coverage for you on rmucolonials.com. One more time for the fall semester, signing off from the island. This is Matt Geica.